guys, my name is Jasmine Marinsky. I'm a professional makeup artist and hairstylist and today I'm here with Vanity Sanity to talk about Bite Beauty. I recently checked out their um, Bite Lab or their headquarters in Toronto. Um, it's a really cool place that specializes in lipsticks, lip glosses and creamy lip products. Um, you can customize your lipstick literally from everything from shades to scents to how pigmented you want it, if you want to have a bit of like a shimmer, if you want it to be sheer, um, and they make it for you right in house. It's really, really, really cool. I've never seen anything like it before. Um, it has almost like a pharmaceutical vibe, but like a cool, funky pharmaceutical vibe. Um, and they specialize only in lip products. And some of the products you can use on your, your cheeks or like on your eyes, but um, I would say I'm more so going towards the lip stuff when I go in there. Um, I got the High Pigment Lip Pencil. I said pencil weird. <laughs> I got the High Pigment Lip Pencil. Um, this product was $28. And um, I really like the packaging. It's kind of just like sort of bare bones packaging. It has like more of like an organic gritty feel. The products they say are made with natural ingredients. Um, and I think they're vegan as well. It doesn't say vegan on here, but it does say organic. And so if that's something that you are conscious of, it's a really great place to go and they don't test on animals, which is awesome. Um, and I mean, when they give you a product wrapped in this cute lipstick tissue paper, how could you not want to buy it? Um, this product was one of the cheaper sides of um, the spectrum. If you want to get a custom made lipstick, I think it's closer to like $50 um, or you can get two custom lipsticks for just over $100. Um, but I was kind of just wanting to try out the product and the brand, so I just went for this basic um, lip pencil. It has a really nice creamy consistency and it's a sharpener free pencil, so you just roll it up when you run out as opposed to sharpening, pardon me, as opposed to sharpening them. Don't sharpen it ever because it won't sharpen the same way as a regular pencil and it'll get all like jammed up in your sharpener. Um, but yeah, it's really nice consistency. I have a little bit of it on now. I feel like it oxidizes slightly and gets a little bit darker when it's on your lips for a while, or at least it looks a lot darker on me. Um, so I have a little bit of it on me right now and it does oxidize slightly. So this color has been on my lips for like an hour, whereas this is what I freshly put on, but I really like it. I think it's a great product. Um, I give it a 9 out of 10 only because this is unscented and it smells a little bit too lipsticky for me. And if I was to go with something um, like myself, I would have given it a really nice light, maybe floral scent or something sweet. But overall, I really, really love this product and I highly recommend you go and check out the Bite Lab if you have a chance because it's really cool just to see how makeup is made. If you guys like this review and you want to see more, please like, subscribe and share. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Thank you.